Right, um, okay, so in this uh, video demonstration, I just want to show you how to use one of these melting point apparatus. Uh, so the first thing to do is to switch it on at the mains and you will notice that if you were to switch on with the dial, it immediately illuminates and current is sent through the electrodes. And just to say, all, all melting point apparatus here at Salford are between zero and nine. And each unit is about 30 to 40 degrees worth of energy. So 30 degrees C, 60, 90, 120, 150, up to about 270, 300. But as you see, you've got an electronic representation of the temperature, but you shouldn't um, take that as gospel. And what we encourage you to do, well, we say to do, is to thread via this aperture a thermometer at the appropriate melting point range of and, and thread it down so it, it, it meets the electrode base onto the, the melting point machine so you can start to read the temperature. Now, organic molecules you will have a, an understanding of the melting point so what we're going to do here is to just show you how to record the melting point of salicylic acid which is about 158, 160 degrees C. So you could set it up to 5 or 6 on there which would get you to 150 to 160 but there's other buttons you can take note on which is rapid heat and by switching rapid heat on um, current is fed into the melting point and it just keeps heating and heating and heating and heating so you can the first one you do is to set up a rapid heat and just to guess what kind of melting point you have to start with if, if this was a molecule you didn't know the melting point range so put it on rapid heat look in there when you put your sample in place and guess or not guess, but determine its, its rough melting point range and then let it cool down again and then the next time you use it, take rapid heat off and then set it towards the dial. So if you had a molecule at rapid heat which melted at 210, set it to 5, 6 to 7 on the melting point range on the second one that you're going to run. So we'll just turn it off for the moment and let it cool down while we show you how to make the sample up. So inside of here there is some salicylic acid and there is a melting point tube as well that fits into one of the three openings and the melting point tube I'll just show it with the glove there is a there's an open end and there is a sealed end and the sealed end goes down that way so in the open end you need to put the sample in so what's best in my view is to get about a few flakes a few crystals of sample so you press down the open end into the mass of the crystal sample so you just press down like that and you can see there is a little bit of sample at the top of the tube that's that's a good depth of sample maybe about one two millimeters and then to get it down you can either flick it and some will drop down but if the sample's a bit gloopy or, or moist if it's moist it should be in the oven for longer to dry as a pre-dry but start to brush down with a coiner a jagged edged coin brush down as appropriate if the sample doesn't want to travel down it's possible because it's wet and it needs to go back in the oven for a longer amount of time or it's not a good crystalline structure structure so i suggest a recrystal or two might be appropriate if it gloops down and doesn't want to brush down easily so once that's in place, you've got a good depth of sample, just put my glove hand there. You then thread through one of the three apertures, choose bronze, silver or gold as a, an Olympic winning position. So I'll go for the gold position and my trusted cameraman Amjad will point down there now and we'll see this hopefully pop down. Oh yes, we'll switch it on, that would help wouldn't it? So we'll, we'll thread down and it goes into the gold position. And because we're now heating, this says 55.3 degrees C, and I'm a thermometer, I'm up to 55. What I am going to do is to put it on to 5 to 6 quickly, and we, we, we need to get it to about 150, 160. So you always look, and I'm just going to peer into view, you always keep looking at the sample. Don't walk away, don't go and chat to your friends, don't go for a cigarette break. Don't go to a trip to the toilet. Keep looking, and you need to look for the first sign of melting. So that's when the first crystal starts to go gloopy. That's the start of the melting point range. 
and the melting point range finishes when the last crystal goes into that liquor in the capillary tube so that is your range of melting point do a rough one then let it cool do a second one maybe a third one to get a good estimate estimation of your melting point and that concludes this instruction guide of how to use the melting point thank you